What if the British Empire defeated the American colonies? What if they prevented the revolution from happening? Well, let's get into our story. George Washington dies and is in the French and Indian War. This is a crucial act and that will hinder it. The British Parliament would also reduce taxes in the American colonies from 5% to 2.5% to move to a long-term income instead of a short-term one. Something that also must be done was giving them representation in Parliament. This would remove the no taxation without representation. Without this, the French would then end up not having, not going into debt even more, and would help prevent the the French Revolution from happening at that moment, and would keep Napoleon in in the army and not on the throne, which would change the rest of the world. Let's begin in the year 1800. The most powerful colonial empires the British, the Spanish, and the Portuguese. And each of these would influence the Holy Roman Empire, which would also be influenced by the Kingdom of Prussia, as well as the Tsardom of Russia. So, another war would eventually be on the horizon. In the following years, tensions would rise until the British would abolish slavery in 1833, which made the southern American colonies rise in rebellion. Might just a little bit of this. The other major European powers would react as a chance to weaken the British and prevent them from getting stronger even more. The Spanish, French, and Austrians would support this separatist force. The war would be on a nice edge, and Russia would be the deciding factor. And Russia would join the British due to the importance of uh, as a leading trade partner. And it would be on five continents, the North and South and, um, the American continents, as well as Africa, Asia, and the European continent itself. The beginning of the war would come as North American colonies with troops from the uh, the southern colonies would end up striking due to the northern the northern ones being underneath British control and would hit Philadelphia and the Pennsylvania colony crucial strike next the European front begins as the Prussians Portuguese Russians and British in Hanover and in Prussia, as well as in Russia itself, and as well as in Portugal, would be fighting the Spanish, French, and Austrians, which would be cornered. However, this war would last for roughly two to three decades. So we're in the mid 1800s, roughly in the 50s or 60s. This would be the winning force, and the most dominant force as Spain's colonies in North America would be given to Britain, while the southern colonies would be given to Portugal. And the territories of Alsace-Lorraine would be annexed by Prussia. Now the Russian and Ottoman empires moved once more towards war as their old, whom they, as their age-old rivalry flared up again. It would be and it would be a stalemate between these two powers. However, the other nations would take this opportunity to snatch up Africa. After, after a, um, a conference in Berlin, which would, um, you could say it was a bit of a scramble for Africa. Now, the British would take northern and southern portions, while the Portuguese would have along the west parts and have other ones with military troops there. The Prussians would take four or large pieces roughly here, 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 and here roughly. And they'd be separated by British and Portuguese. However, they would have amounts of 
gold and oil, which will be important current in the growing industries. And of course, the territories up here in the northeast would be underneath the control of the Ottomans until the stalemate would be broken as the British, as the Prussians, British, and Portuguese would intervene in the war and take territory in the Middle East. The British would take think, the interior of the Middle East, whilst the Prussians would take along the uh, Persian Gulf, while the Portuguese would take southern portion, and the Russians would take the entirety of the Balkans and northern Anatolia. Finally taking Constantinople, the dying empire in the eastern part of Europe was finally wiped out. Those major forces, those four major forces plus the Holy Roman Empire and the weakest powers on the continent were France, Spain, and Austria, which would be key in the decades, if not centuries to come. British alliance with the Portuguese you know, this would be the strength in the west whilst the Russian Empire her, was the strength in the east but the Kingdom of Prussia and the Holy Roman Empire was between them. The two other buffer states were the Kingdom of Austria and the recently unified Kingdom of Italy. The Kingdom of Prussia so it would have its own agenda. To make itself a German Empire. In order for this to happen, the Holy Roman Empire would have to be dissolved after the King of Prussia was elected to it. And then, in a war with France, this would lead to the combining. Yes, this does sound a lot like our own timeline. So much so that the German Empire was proclaimed in Versailles. The French king would be deposed and replaced by a king. The German Emperor, who was related to the ancient kings of Francia and Germania, which this, this king who is now on the throne was in fact offered the throne just a few years earlier. Now we are in 1914, and the major powers are now growing as Germany and its allies of Austria and Italy are now a central point, and its buffer state of France. economy would be growing because but now a new war came the war would be on the North American continent the European continent and the Asian continent as it would be the Western allies plus Germany and its buffer states against the Russians The Russians would strike the Kingdom of Austria and the German Empire along the entire border, as the Alliance had not mobilized as they expected the Russians to take a year or so to mobilize. They would push to Vienna and Berlin, but then the troops from the British and Portuguese colonies would arrive and would push back to St. Petersburg and thereby force the Tsar to surrender be weakened, thereby moving Russia to just being a regional power. Now, in the 1930s, with those weakened, there's the British Empire, the Portuguese Empire, and the German Empire. And now, two of these nations will begin communication with the East Asian powers. The Portuguese would increase communications with the Empire of Japan, whilst the Germans would communicate with the Chinese Empire, negotiating a deal of a military alliance between them, as the British are still a looming threat wherever on the globe they go. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and ring the bell for notifications. This is just one of uh, infinite timelines in the year 1940. Please. 
two weeks, come back for another video. This is Crispy History, out.